Welcome to the jungle! This is XQC. This damn salt! Cook Lord piece of shit! So you are. Suck it, suck it, suck it, suck, suck. So what now? What the heck, you bitches? He was once one of the Overwatch League's best tank players. I think that if he can't, carries on performing like this, he could be a, a top three, top four tank in the league. XQC cleaning house, knocks him off! He's a product of the internet age, a kid who became famous online. He we rolled you and smoked your ass! And then, all at once, he was thrust into a professional world. It's a jungle in here! A clean-cut franchise professional league where he had to be on his best behavior. Lock away his toxic side and put on a show for the fans. But that just wasn't meant to be. Now, shut your fucking mouth, go back there, suck a fat cock. Uh, I mean, he would like it, but... This is the story of XQC. We're looking for the top players in the world and the team owners who will form the Overwatch League. A brand new game and a fully franchised, geolocated league. A league that had the power to create superstars overnight. The Overwatch League changed the game. We are working towards launching the Overwatch League as the pinnacle of Overwatch esports. One that all aspiring players and audiences can celebrate, strive towards, and call their own. When the Overwatch League was first announced, it instantly made waves across competitive gaming. Those with a first-person shooter background flocked to the game for a shot at a pro contract. Everyone wanted in on the ground floor. One of those being Felix XQC Langel. Nice shatter! Oh! XQC was a tank main and was building a reputation as an incredible talent while piloting Winston, one of the game's premier space makers. He was aggressive yet controlled in-game, something he wasn't outside of it. Like many other up-and-coming players, XQC paired his competitive aspirations with a rapidly growing Twitch stream. As a broadcaster, he was completely uncaged. Yo! Loads of toads! Welcome to the jungle! Thanks for subscribing! Woo! Man, it's fucking good! We gotta sub! Dude, we gotta fucking sub! We gotta, we gotta, we gotta fucking sub up to this bitch! I love that fucking sub! A subscription to my channel! Woo! Let's go! No more job. The living embodiment of the internet. A master of memes, games, chugging cokes, rage quitting, and of course, that trademark flame. Cloudmaker, cock lord. Paid service, cocky cocky. Cock lord, piece of shit. So you are. For XQC, his journey began with a team called That's It, which won a small DreamHack Montreal event, and then Q question mark, which was later acquired by Denial Esports. Hey guys, my name is XQC. I'm the current tank for Team Denial, and I play a lot of competitive games, so you might know me from solo queue as well. And it was with Arc 6 that they qualified for Season 0 of the Overwatch League Contenders, a proving ground for players who hope to reach the big leagues. In addition to Contenders, many of the game's most influential eyes were on the Overwatch World Cup in 2017. It's one of the biggest stages in the world. There's going to be a lot of eyes on you. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This became an even more pronounced proving ground for the first season of the Overwatch League, and XQC was the main tank for Team Canada. It's a jungle in here! And XQC might just get this done himself. There's nothing he can't do. He can't get to the payload. He's being pushed away. And that is going to be that second checkpoint coming up here for Canada. Oh, that hole was huge. Oh, it's a beautiful setup for XQC to get the Earth Shadow, but the damage wasn't quite there. But look at all the kills he managed to get just with the use of that ultimate here. Australia, we're all together a one big juicy package. And XQC out of a breakfast. Mercy one, Mercy dead. Tracer, soldier, Tracer, soldier, Tracer, soldier, Tracer, soldier. Tracer, soldier. Tracer, okay, okay, okay. It's just Tracer, 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 Tracer dead. dead. Let's go! Uh, not traditionally known as an esports powerhouse, Canada impressed at the event and showed some great synergy and teamwork that helped them overcome some of the world's finest. It's kept half of Australia from contesting this point whatsoever, or over time it is, but where are Australia? Aita, desperately, it's a valiant attempt to keep this game alive, but it's not going to be enough. Australia, your crocodile dandy! This is why Canada are here. 
This is why they're one of the best teams as an all-star roster in the World Cup, because it's a new patch, it's a new meta for so many people. But these guys pulled their socks up and adjusted mid-series to bring the reverse sweep. That's true grit, the hallmark of a champion. Stillo is out of the picture, manages gets be suited and taken out. Overtime is ticking down. Sweden, where are they? They're trying to jump on towards the point, they're rushing in. But Canada, they put the flag in the ground. The North belongs to the Maple Leafs. In fact, they made it all the way to the finals, where they eventually were dispatched by a star-studded South Korean team filled with many of the Overwatch League's future stars. And XQC was voted by the fans as the tournament's MVP. Thank you so much for everyone who voted. Thank you so much. Congratulations once again, guys. Give it up for XQC. Give it up for South Korea. When the World Cup came to a close and it was time for the league's franchises to start signing players for their inaugural rosters, XQC's name was prominent among prospective main tanks. DP nerds, DP nerds, DP nerds, DP behind us. Holy shit, did you just dunk on them from the top ropes? That was fucking near my doggy. Holy <laughs> fuck! I'm a maniac in this game! And on October 28, 2017, the Dallas Fuel announced XQC as the ninth member of their Overwatch League Season 1 roster. XQC is a spaz who can somehow barely keep his life together, but he absolutely dominates his Winston in game. One of the best Winstons in the game. Like, that's not what a lot of people would say from a guy who has not been playing professionally for a long time. It's like he's very, very driven to improve, and I really admire that about him. When he actually gets confident in himself and his team, I think he's gonna do great things. He will stream all day, he will play all day, he doesn't care, all he wants to do is play and get good. Heading into the league, they were advertised as one of the best, especially when you looked at the roster they managed to put together. With the likes of XQC on the tank line, the talent of players like Taimu and Mickey, and the versatility of Seagull, they look to be one of the premier teams to beat. They have been the strongest Western team throughout the whole of 2017 and 2016. This is a team with pedigree and so much talent on the roster. But they stumbled out of the gates. Down 2-0, we're into OT. Can Mickey get this ultimate up in time? Yes, he's going to get that self-destruct. That pulse bomb. Self-destruct to use, Mickey should get the mech back again. There is OT, and so our last map will end in a draw, which means that Soul Dynasty, as we said earlier, has taken this series. This is just spinning out of control now for Dallas. Time ticking away, and that is it. LA Valiant will take Nimbani, and they will take the series 3-0. Three wins and a tie will be the result of this match between them and Dallas Fuel. In the Overwatch League, the Houston Outlaws 4-0, the Dallas Fuel, the sweep. And after their third match against the Houston Outlaws, XQC made matters worse for the organization when he directed a homophobic slur at Austin Muma Wilmot, an openly gay player. In the wise words of a good friend of mine, rolled and smoked my doggies. No, no, he didn't smoke shit. Uh, no. Shut your fucking mouth. Go back there. Suck a fat cock. Uh, I mean, he would like it, but. So many games ahead. Love you. To many Overwatch League fans, this was their first exposure to XQC's toxic side, but it certainly wasn't his first time getting into trouble. Even prior to joining Dallas, he had his account suspended by Blizzard for abusing their in game reporting system on stream. He was using it to spam report the accounts of teammates that refused to switch off characters he thought weren't good enough for competitive play. I report someone that is genuinely fucking up the game and I get banned in 24 hours? That's not okay! And while his online fame was just starting to grow, XQC's style of digital absurdity offered ample opportunity for him to cross the line of what was acceptable. Let's fucking go! Sonic me! Sonic me for fucking stack! Go stack and fucking beat the arm fucking eat you! Get the fuck out of my side of bitch! He fed off the energy of his viewers and fans and humored them when they urged him to toe that line. The Fuel took matters into their own hands after the league's announcement as well extending his ban from just four games to the entire rest of the stage to reinforce their stance on his actions. Uh, I apologize. I'm super sorry to the people that I've let down, the people that support me, that see me differently now. Uh, to members of the LGBT community, I'm so sorry. Uh, Move by myself, even though I talk to him directly. Uh, the outlaws as a whole, uh, my team, 
the fuel organization, and the watch league entirely. This could have been a huge deal, a huge disaster to the health of the, whole, the entire league, and I, I understand that now, and I'm sorry. And when he returned from his ban, he clearly had something to prove on stage. There's a new monkey in town, fresh off the suspension. Usually Harry Hook ducks behind the corner just in time. That's a huge shatter! Comes in, XQC sets it up for AKM, oh. and the barrage is the end of that push for the Gladiators. What a combo from Dallas. We'll see what happens. Next, you see come in. He goes to the charge. He says, forget the earth shatter. But no, Harry Hook gets Fissure anyway. They're not even going to get the Reinhardt ultimate out. Costa going in now with the coalescence. They use the sound barrier from Harry Hook as well. Hydration back in. There's a Graviton Surge. There's XQC with the double kill. The time is building one more time. The last attack for Dallas Fuel. It looks like it may have done it. Earthshatter coming in, but Fisher can't capitalize. And Dallas Fuel will win King's Row. Uh, I'm super happy to be back uh, after being like a month off and in my room. Um, I'm super glad. Uh, Paul Chem in the chat, and thanks for everyone who supported us. Burn blue! And thus began the quintessential story of XQC. The constant back and forth between his offstage antics and his increasingly strong onstage performance. What I love about this as well is that he comes back in and deals so much damage afterwards <laughs> into this Graviton, ge generates almost another one, and then blocks that dead eye that was coming out from Sure 4. That's I mean, a fantastic yeah. play coming out it, from him. He returned to stage two with a vengeance, vaulting himself into the conversation among the league's best main tanks. I think that if he can't, carries on performing like this, he could be a, a top three, top four tank in the league. The I guy's know, got skills. I know that would make a lot of fans happy at home. You guys want to see more XQC? But the whispers of XQC's redemption arc were silenced just as quickly as they started. On March 9th, 2018, XQC was suspended by Blizzard for the second time in as many stages. This time for using the tryhard emote in a racially disparaging way towards one of the Overwatch League's casters. I, I, I didn't I, I, I didn't tap in into Overwatch League and, and looked at who's on screen or whatever. I understand it, it could look, at, look like it, but I post it so very often, I post it all the time. It's literally just how I greet people. Then I was just like, dude, what? The Dallas Fuel took action, and this time, there was no shot at redemption. Now to announce the release of Felix XC Langel voice. Like more than or the Langel, ago, I first like saw Langel you French. super hyped and passionate well, immediate game release. Monsters. Not even two full stages into his Overwatch career, XQC, one of the league's most talented tank players and popular personalities, was removed from the fuel entirely. Just as quickly as his rise to fame happened, his career looked to be all but over. So for me, like the Overwatch League as a whole was pretty um, bittersweet, to say the least. When I got in, I was really fucking happy, right? And I was like, Pog Champ, and everyone was happy for me, dude, and it was, uh, it was nice, but I just felt um, all undeserving anyway. At least for the time being, his time on the Overwatch League stage was over. Oh, boys, I decided to delete boys. because I saw that you were released. Since you will be going home this the soonest, the least I could do. It, boys. Stay safe on the streets, my man. This is it. Cue dramatic music, boys. XQC immediately focused all of his attention to his stream. Okay, watch this. Okay. I'm gonna debate them. As a broadcaster, the now outcast XQC instantly flourished. During his first three months as a professional streamer after being kicked off the fuel, his channel spiked up to almost 10,000 viewers concurrently and they were there for exactly the same person that the Overwatch League had banned. So what now? What the heck, bitches? I'm gonna leave the chat. He's now 06. Get fucking loud! Please! This team sucks! No, I don't give a fuck, I normally I'm respectful. Dog shit! You see, even as a pro, XQC never logged off. 
he famously would just chain his Dallas Fuel practices into eight, nine, or 10 hour streams. Pumped off! He is a gamer incarnate, strung out on red cans of Coke, insta queuing after a tilting match, and bringing his viewers along for the rage induced ride. We can go from yeah, yeah. Hans Fucking rock. bitches! That's the bottom of the Uh, it's actually better now. Thank you. Keep a bomb, watch out. He was streaming Overwatch primarily, his ascent to the top 500 on ladder mixed with the odd Tracer game so he could show off his DPS pocket pick. Holy shit. Pop it off! Holy shit! Dude, San it's Francisco like Shock XQC winning! Ah, shit, come on, I can't. Oh, no, you can't win. That. You can't win. What the fuck? Did I kill the whole team? How are they winning this? What the fuck? I killed the whole team, dude! But despite his high level of play, this wasn't a competitive stream. It was meant to be entertainment. Games and memes and screaming at the top of your lungs and smashing your keyboards and talking trash, all compartmentalized into one Twitch URL, packaged up nicely, and then the volume cranked to 100. Let's fucking go, boys! Let's fucking go, boys! Holy fucking shit! This is two stops! Let's fucking go! And now, freed from the shackles of professional obligations, he let it all loose for thousands to see. Yo! Fix the game! And whether you loved him or you hated him, thought he was a talented tank player or a toxic gamer, he was still growing. Later in 2018, he was signed to an Overwatch contenders team called GOATS, where he could continue to scratch his competitive itch. Last fight! Last fight! Okay. He's in the app! I'm fine! I'm fine! Don't worry about me! Alright! Push him forward! Get the fuck out of the way! Right! 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 In the wake of his departure from Dallas, XQC was still invited to participate in the 2018 Overwatch World Cup. To feel, uh, you know, the people in the crowd, the energy, the, uh, the competitive aspect, it's a lot of fun, so I'm glad to be back. Throwing body after buying the fight. XQC cleaning house. Knocks him off. This is Canada territory. And they take that one. Friends, gotta get the payload. They do. And Cam looking for the grab. Doesn't want to get eaten. Drops the grab. Picks up four. Oh, throw you there. No, not quite yet. I'm going looking for the XQC. Making room. Friends struggling. Struggling. It's not enough. Canada gonna take that two. Vance, they need a bit more of the point. XQC, let it all out. Rage to your heart's content as Canada makes the space they need. Point A is theirs, and they move on to the semifinals. But even though he knew he was walking on thin ice, he was unable to keep himself out of trouble. The 2018 World Cup was not the Cinderella story Canada and XQC had hoped for. For China, they seem to be right here where they need to be. Charge across the point for XQC. It's a valiant attempt, of course, from the superstar. But it may not be enough. Sure, fall down to one sky, finds the last orb, but now he's in position to heal up. Five stars on the flag. Five stars from the judges. And China will be in a gold medal match. In 2019, XQC is a streamer and broadcaster first. I think XQC is probably going to be one of your next big boys. I think he's awesome. I think he's going to do great. And I think he's really doing a good job with picking the right games to play. His concurrent viewership numbers have jumped to more than 15,000 at a time most months. And his popularity online has surpassed the barriers of the esports community and started to blend in with some of the most popular online personalities. What's up, man? What's good, dude? It's been a while, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh shit! Suck it! Suck it, pussy! I think I'm fucked. Suck it! Dude. Victory Royale! <laughs> Victory! He's a fixture within the uber popular subreddit R Livestream Fails, and he started to broaden the scope of both his content and his social circle. XQC's body looks like that alien in, in Men in Black. You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna find it. Right there. <laughs> 
XQC. He's now often interacting with many of the other top general interest streamers in Soda Poppin and Greek God X. Are we going to at least live near each other so we can hang out when we're done streaming? Sure, but we're probably all going to live next to each other and we're never going to go out. <laughs> and then we're going to stream because we're bored. <laughs> yeah. Well, despite the game still being a fixture on his channel, you'd be hard-pressed to still call XQC an Overwatch streamer. Quite frankly, it's difficult to call him any one thing, because his channel truly is a living, breathing entity. He'll do, play, or watch whatever's funny, whatever's dramatic, or whatever people are talking about online. He's a variety streamer, top 500 Overwatch player, and online tastemaker. He's chasing one thing, and the only thing, what he calls the juice. There's no clear definition of what the juice is. Because the juice is whatever you make it. It can be anything. Nobody can define what it is for you. You know what the juice is, right? For me, like sometimes, I feel like the juice is... Whenever I win, I pop off, right? Like I go, ah, oh, monkey bag, poop, mauled, poop. That's my juice. Hello. Oh, oh, you guys are huge! What the fuck? Dude! Let's go! Oh XQC! Holy shit! Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Yo! What the fuck? Yo, what the? I actually. I actually six guys chipping chip, boys! Oh my god, highly requested, highly, highly. <sighs> Juxtaposed within his gaming content is what has come to be some of the most popular content on his channel. Him just sitting in front of a camera and reacting to things. Go again. Go again. We go again, chat. Uh, I guess I think it's uh, time to go again. He's added what he calls the Reddit recap every week, where he and his fan base traverse Reddit and watch and react to all of the most popular clips and highlights in the online world. Okay, Clint falls for the bait. I'll do epic soy milk. J38. Did did really? Did honestly? Who would fall for this? I entered in something. Oh, I entered in debated. <laughs> this is in addition to Media Monday, where, in what might be the most terrifying content creation act of all time, he allows his chat to decide absolutely everything on screen for the entire stream. <laughs> He'll do anything. He'll IRL stream, play a hand simulator, watch YouTube, just chat, or literally sleep for nine hours. It's the ultimate chat experience. Somehow, some way, there's a streamer who will more or less do whatever they ask of him at any time. Can you lick your elbow? Okay, why would you want me to lick my elbow? But at what cost? And that is truly the question when it comes to XQC. On one hand, we have this revolutionary personality, the kind of rambunctious energy that's infectious enough to have an entire subreddit, Discord channel, and community built around him simply acting crazy online. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus, kill me. And on the other hand, you have someone who has been harmful to a portion of the gaming zeitgeist. Someone who's unafraid to cross lines, uses slurs like they're commonplace, and unabashedly attacks teammates and competitors. So who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? You're so fucking stupid. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? You're barely GM, dude. You're barely GM. You're barely GM, dude. You, you buddy, y'all fuckers! And he had one sleep on the fucking line. Fuck you. Get a purple, get a grip. Just fucking with the game. Fuck off. Avoid it, piece of shit. He's a living, breathing enigma. A symbol of the rampant, unstoppable growth that is personality-based online content creation. While simultaneously attacking his own growth by reinforcing the dark cloud of bigotry that hangs over gaming in its darkest hours. 
Recently, he's moved back to LA, where he signed with the LA Gladiators contenders roster. Hey, Shields up, baby! Boys, I just joined the Gladiators and the Sentinels. Is this his path back to the pros? Is a real redemption arc in the future? Is XQC good or bad for gaming? A hero or a villain? Well, that's for you to decide, but without question, he's only going to get bigger before we find out. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.